no gunshots, but they get in low, 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 get in What's going on guys, Simon Frost here again today for another video. And before we get topic, I'll be telling you the gameplay in the background is going to be from Rush Iron Man, so make sure to check him out. He will be down in the description, and he gets a double nuclear fail with the A94 on Nuketown. He gets he goes 140 to 7, so make sure to check him out, as I said before, and let's get right into today's commentary. So lately, I've been wanting to do different types of commentaries other than just gaming ones. Now, for quite some time, I only have done gaming commentaries because a lot of people said they wanted to have commentaries that were just gaming related. And personally, myself, I want to do gaming commentaries, and I want to do other types of more serious ones as well, because really, it just, it gets old just doing gaming commentaries all the time. I do just love doing commentaries, though. I don't really enjoy making very many other types of videos. You know, maybe if I did, you know, some funny moments or something like that, it'd be okay, but there's nothing like making a commentary. There's just something about it that I just really enjoy, guys. But anyways, I'm going to do some more serious ones lately, so if you see some more serious ones, you know, uh, I hope you guys enjoy them but anyways let's get right into this so today we're going to be talking about feminism and before this just blows up at the comment section I have to say I'm not talking about the ones that just want equality. Now I understand that but uh, feminism has become something else. It's not about equality anymore. I understand you know f wanting to fight for equality but really in this day and generation I think we are equal. I see so many women in job positions that you know men don't even have but, they st but there's still so many people complain and say women you know don't have all these rights or anything and really I don't think that's true to be honest. I think they're completely totally equal because you know my mom works a, a job my dad doesn't you know I know so many families where you know the mom is the one who actually you know actually works and gets the most money so uh, I, I don't understand really the whole thing with feminism saying that it's not equal anymore or anything like that when it actually is I feel like but you know I'm not gonna you know I, I, I don't want to you know make a big rant in the comment section but I want to talk about the radical feminists today those are the ones who actually think that you know women are that you know should be the dominant race and should you know control everything they should control their men you know all this and everything you know they think you know men are disgusting and there shouldn't be masculinity there shouldn't be people trying to flex or, you know, get muscles or do sports, you know, that's all bad stuff, you know, that's, that's some things they say, and really, that's just stupid in my opinion. Like, not long ago on Twitter, there was this thing where people were doing the hashtag in Father's Day. Now, a lot of it was trolls and stuff, but there were actually women out there who thought that should happen. Like, they were like, okay, masculinity is terrible. You shouldn't be, you know, praising a man for being a father. That's a terrible thing to do. Men are just terrible. Fathers don't do anything. They're the worst to everyone. They treat their kids badly. They're all this and that. And really, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You know, most of the women who say this, you know, maybe had a bad childhood. Maybe they're parent like spanked them too many times or something that's what I imagine is their dad spanked them too many times because they got in trouble all the time and now they're like oh men are terrible you shouldn't be masculine you shouldn't like sports you there, there should be nothing nobody should ever praise a man it's not anything you know there should be in father's day it's terrible I never understood that it's so stupid to me in my opinion like really I don't understand radical feminists at all like you have to have a father like there has to be a guy and a girl to have a kid it doesn't it doesn't work any other way I mean I guess you could go to a sperm bank and get you know sperm that way instead of having to have a guy you know impregnate you but that it's still just stupid like there has to be fathers like you can't just have you know a, a mother like there can't just be women in this world like it wouldn't work that way like you have to have men and women they're both equal there's no point in there being not men because they're masculine or like sports or something everybody likes their own thing I don't understand what's so wrong about liking sports or you know hanging out with guy friends or anything like that like they just hate that kind of stuff and it doesn't make any sense to me I'm not a big fan of sports myself to tell the truth but you know I understand why some guys do like sports and you know like to you know, work out all the time and, you know, get their muscles and everything, but they just hate all that kind of stuff, and it doesn't make any sense to me. I just, like, they just had to have had a really bad childhood, so I, I don't know what else to say about this comment to you guys. I want to know your opinions on why you think radical feminists hate men and think Father's Day shouldn't be a thing and there shouldn't be fathers or anything like that. I want to know that down in the comments. Um, also, like this video if you haven't already and you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already as well. This has been Samuel Franz, and peace.